Have you ever wondered how machine learning algorithms separate mixed signals? The answer lies in a powerful technique known as independent component analysis, or ICA. To understand ICA, imagine being at a bustling party with multiple conversations happening simultaneously. It's challenging to focus on one conversation, isn't it? This is analogous to the problem that ICA solves. It separates mixed signals into independent sources, much like isolating one conversation from a cocktail party's chatter. So, what exactly is ICA? In the simplest terms, it's a computational method used to separate a multivariate signal into independent non-Gaussian signals. By multivariate, we mean that it involves more than one statistical outcome at a time, and by non-Gaussian, we refer to the distribution of the data not following the bell curve, which is common in real-world data. Now, how does ICA achieve this? It uses an interesting property of signals, statistical independence. Two signals are statistically independent if the information in one does not affect the information in the other. ICA utilizes this principle to unmix the mixed signals. At the heart of ICA lies the assumption that the variables are non-Gaussian. This is crucial because non-Gaussian distributions have more information about their independent components than Gaussian distributions. In essence, the ICA algorithm exploits the non-Gaussianity to recover the original signals. But why is ICA so important? Well, it's incredibly useful in numerous applications, such as image and signal processing, biomedical signal analysis, and of course, machine learning. It's a powerful tool that helps us make sense of complex, multi-layered data. So, to recap, ICA is a computational method that separates a multivariate signal into independent non-Gaussian signals. It's like a skilled listener who can isolate individual conversations at a noisy party. The key to this technique is the concept of statistical independence, which means that the information in one signal doesn't affect the information in another. The assumption of non-Gaussianity is a central tenet of ICA. This is because non-Gaussian distributions contain more information about their independent components than Gaussian distributions. Hence, ICA leverages non-Gaussianity to recover the original signals. ICA has wide-ranging applications, from image and signal processing to biomedical signal analysis and machine learning. It's an essential tool in our data-driven world, helping us decipher complex layered data. So the next time you're at a noisy party, remember the ICA. Just like you strain to pick out individual conversations from the hubbub, ICA works tirelessly to separate mixed signals into independent sources. And in doing so, it allows us to understand and interpret the world around us in a clearer, more meaningful way.